In the United States of America, the late 1800s were transformative. Expansion of territory, settlement of the West, huge economic growth through the Industrial Revolution, significant immigration greatly increasing the population, urbanization and the expansion of cities in the name of modernity and as a result growth of a middle class. This transformation was not without violence and trauma. The events and times irrevocably changed the way Americans earned a living and the way they lived. These changes impacted all segments of America's people, albeit in different ways. Native Americans were reduced in numbers and forcibly restricted to living on reservations having their lands taken away in the cause of manifest destiny and through a mantra as the conquest of savagery by civilization. Immigrants encountered a new land, faced economic uncertainty as they entered into a different and developing cultural environment. Former slaves were freed only to face segregation and racial discrimination. Chinese immigrants here to build railroads and newer Chinese immigrants faced severe limitations and discrimination. Women began to increasingly move into non-traditional Victorian era roles. The number of women employed outside the home grew Women became increasingly active in politics and focused on legal issues, including the right to vote. Men experienced increasing challenges to their masculinity. Rugged individualism, martial or warrior traits changed from, for example, pioneering and conquest to working a factory job or behind the desk. The traits that men attributed to the founding of the country were in question as the frontier was ending. This became particularly difficult for white men. Society became challenged in coping with modernity. Even those in government, like Theodore Roosevelt, became concerned about the loss of martial spirit and thus American exceptionalism. So, who stepped into the breach between the frontier and the new modernity to offer relief? None other or more than Buffalo Bill Cody with his Wild West show. The quintessential edge man who straddled both worlds, the frontier and modernity. The frontier where he was the king of the border men, as he was called in circles of the times. His bona fides as frontiersmen were validated through his documented and witnessed experiences on the frontier and as embellished and fictionalized in dime novels and comics. And although ultimately financially unsuccessful, losing most of his wealth toward the end of his life, he made huge amounts of money through his Wild West show while at the same time investing in land development and mining projects, serving as president of five companies and as head of his Wild West show, employing over 1,200 people. Through his show, he demonstrated the masterful use of the country's railroads, management skills of his business and leadership of a diverse group of employees, logistics, and shrewd use of, for what in those days, were modern marketing and advertising. One view of what his show did for the American public was to provide a ritualized means by which his audiences were temporarily transported into the frontier environment in an open-air arena to witness his version 
of historical events as conquest using the martial skills necessary reenacted to tame the frontier by largely actual characters or at least those possessing skills used on the frontier performers. The audience became highly emotional. They hollered, stomped their feet, whistled, wildly applauded, and in one reenactment which we will describe, actually stormed the arena to participate in the simulation. In its own way, being a means by which to aid America retain and manage cultural continuity rather than rupture. Over a 30-year period, 50 million people participated in Buffalo Bill's ritual process. Not all agree with the premise or his role in this transition, but that's another story. We are covering his story, starting with his foundational years as a frontiersman, in our videos at His overall performance, both in real life and on the stage and arena, was that of genius. Or was it? Please join us as Buffalo Bill himself makes his case of not only being the genius behind his Wild West show, but also in creating a vision of the settling of the plains as the conquest of civilization over savagery. And as Buffalo Bill says, at the end of his segments, happy trails.